Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to 1908. We've got the uh, 78 Highlanders at the 6 and 9 Senators. Um, I'll show you this as I usually do. I mean, the thing is, these teams are technically still in it, especially New York. They can go to 500. If they win this, they'll be two games away from the Browns. Um, that's really what's happening this American League. No team has really stood out. Um, the Highlanders in real life were a pretty bad team. We'll see what happens here um, in this one. They have their 0-4 on the road, so this should be um, a lot of fun. One of the things I really like about uh, Skatersoft is that you can look at that during the game, which is something that would have been nice in Diamond Mine Baseball. I'm just saying. Here's Charlie Hemphill. He rolls a 65 for a 35. That is a pop-up over to third base, and Shipka has that for the out one away. And it is Wee Willie Keeler. So you remember I was talking about uh, DiMaggio uh, hitting in uh, 56 straight uh, just the other day. Well, uh, here's Wee Willie Keeler, who uh, at one point in time did have that record. And uh, he rolls a 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to second. And it is uh, Delahanty who has that one, throws the first four of the out, two away. I wonder um, if the paper said much about that. I didn't go back to look him up, so maybe we have to go back to our homework. Jake Stahl up there now. He rolls an 11 for a zero. And uh, the next roll is going to be a 13 for a six. And that's a double to right center field. Stahl now on at second base. And that's um, him uh, there with two outs. And Neil Ball up. And Ball rolls a 55 for an 8. That's going to be a comebacker over to Hughes, who makes the play and throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the first. is Jim Delahanty up there. He rolls a 36 for a 33. That's a pop-up over to the second baseman. That will be Niles, who has that for the out. One away. Otis Clymer now rolls a 26 for a 27. There's a ground ball over to third base. Conroy has that. Throws the first for the out. Two gone. Bill Shipka now is up there, and he rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball over to center field. Hemphill has that one for the out. We go to the top of the second. Harry Niles starts this off, and he rolls a 66 for a 0, and uh, then a 33 for a 1. That's a home run over the right field fence. Wow, that's a little rare for uh, 1908. Um, you can pretend it's inside the park if you want, um, and it's one nothing for the Highlanders. That brings up Hal Chase. Chase rolls a 22 for an 8. That's a ground ball over to the uh, shortstop, McBride, who has it and throws the first for the out, one away. Red Klein now, now up there, and he rolls a uh, 44 for a 9, and that's a single over shortstop, and uh, that means that uh, there's uh, another runner on here for the Highlanders, and they're sort of uh, rallying. Uh, we'll bunt with Conroy. Wade Conroy up there, interesting player. We're going to talk about him later, and he bunts, um, rolls a 25 for a 10, which is a bunt over to Freeman at first. The first baseman, who's in up here, flips around and uh, throws over to Delahanty for the out. Kleinam moves up to second. Uh, two outs now for Jack Chesbro. So we bunted to get to Chesbro, who rolls a 43 for a 29. That is a ground ball over to Freeman. The first baseman flips over to Hughes, the pitcher this time, for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. How many times do you see the first baseman with more assists than putouts in an inning? Clyde Milan rolls a 35 for a 40, changed to 23. That's going to be a little uh, swinging bunt, and that'll be an air on the catcher, Kleinow. And uh, Milan is the runner on it first, and that'll bring up Jerry Freeman here. One on, nobody out bottom of the second. one nothing uh, Highlanders. Freeman rolls a 34 for a 44. Maybe we should have had the runner running. The Little E rolls a 23, which means it's changed to an 18. That'll end up being an air on uh, Neil Ball, and Milan makes it all the way to third. So it's about the same as what we would have if we had called a hit and run. That brings up George McBride now. Runners on at first and third. Nobody out. Infield comes in. McBride will swing away hitting 302. He rolls a 51, I'm sorry, for a 9. That's a single over short that will score one. Jack Chesbro and the uh, good old uh, spitball having some problems. Here's uh, Bob Gainley now with runners on at first and second. And Bob rolls a 54 for a 45. There's a little fly ball over to right field. Keeler has that for the out uh, one away, and that'll bring up John Warner. Warner, the catcher, is going to bunt. You know he is. And uh, he rolls a 45 for a 14, so he takes a walk, and that'll bring up uh, Long Tom Hughes, the uh, pitcher. Infield comes in. We are not going to bunt with him, though, with Freeman being slow because he'll get thrown out. Um, the rule instead is a 55 for an 8. That's going to be a fly ball over to center field. Hemphill has that for the out. And as slow as he may be, uh, the runner on third base ends up scoring. It's a 2-1 to one ball game for the Senators, and they only have one hit. Jim Delahanty now, and he rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third base. Third baseman Conroy has that, and we'll flip that one over to Niles, covering at the bag for the out. We go to the top of the third. Charlie Hemphill up there, top of the third inning. Charlie rolls a 45 for a 14, and there's a walk, and uh, Hemphill takes his base. Nobody out here for Wee Willie Keeler with Hemphill on at first. We'll take a look at Hemphill's card, and we can hit and run with him. I always look for that 11. Once I see it, then I go. 55 is the roll, um, but against a B, that doesn't do much. It ends up being a ground ball over to the uh, second baseman, uh, Delahanty. Throws to first for the out. Hemphill moves up to second. One out. Jake Stahl up. Runner on at second. And Stahl rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. Two away, and here is Neil Ball. Ball rolls a 42 for a 13, and that does it. That's another strikeout. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Otis Clymer is now up there. 
Bottom of the third inning, um, Climber up there and uh, nobody out, 2-1 Senators. And Otis rolls a 34 for a 44, and uh, there is a little E roll. This time it is a 33, and that's going to be a fly ball over to center field. Hempel has it for the out, that 33 out of the range. One away, and as Bill Shipka, Bill rolls, whoops, my apologies. Um, he rolls a 54, there we go, for a 45. Um, we know that one automatically because you memorize the pattern pretty easily. Then the little E rolls a 44. It's a fly ball over to right field, and uh, Keeler, the right fielder, has that for the out two away, and it's Clyde Milan. And Milan rolls a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball over to Stall and left, and he's got it for the out. We go to the top of the fourth just like that. Harry Niles up there, and he rolls a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball, again, to left field. That uh, 43 will take you to left field. Gainley has it for the out one away. Al Chase, another 14 for another 43. He does have the little E roll. It's a 23. So the reason why, I'll stop here for a sec. The reason why Chase had the uh, little E roll but Niles didn't is because of what this number um, on 53 is. That's what sets it off. And uh, this 18 against uh, McBride with whatever situation is we have nobody on base will be an error um, if it's within the range. So then we put in the 23, and then the game will automatically change it to a different error number if applicable. This time it changes to a 21, and that's an error on Freeman. As I understand it, if the uh, new error roll that's done internally is not applicable, wouldn't be an error, then it will stick with the old one with the default, right? So Chase ends up on uh, first base um, with the uh, because of the error player before him was Harry Niles. His uh, uh, 53 rule would have been a uh, 20. I can't really like keep it there because of this the way this stupid thing works. You can see it here. It's a 20. It's kind of funny because if I come like over here, if I'm doing something else with it and it sticks, I don't understand. Why do we even have this? Anyway, Niles would have had a 20, which um, I suppose at least would not have been an error against Delahanty, hence the reason why the little E doesn't come up. One away now, Chase is on at first, and uh, Chase, I think, does have an 11. He does, so we are going to hit and run with Hal. And uh, the uh, rule is a 56 for a 34, and that's not what you want because that's a line drive over to Neil Ball. He makes the play, uh, makes the grab, throws over, I'm sorry, line drive over to a McBride. He makes the play, throws over to Freeman at first base for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and Freeman is up there. And he rolls a 33 for a 7. There's a base hit off of Chesbro, single to right field, and that'll bring up George McBride. Now runner on at first. McBride's hitting very well. We'll let him swing away. And he rolls a 33 for a 7. Don't know if you saw how those dice danced, danced around there. Fun stuff. That will send Freeman up to second because he's slow. Bob Gainley now the batter, and it's time to bunt. And uh, he will bunt, and he rolls a 44, but it would have been an 8. Would have been a single off of Chesbro. Ends up bunting this one back to Chesbro, who throws over to Niles, covering it first for the out. Uh, one away, John Warner now the batter with a slow man on it. Third again, Freeman again. And he rolls a 45 for a 14, so he'll take his base, and that'll bring up Long Tom Hughes again. I feel like we've seen this story before. Infield should have come in, actually, for Warner. Comes in now for Hughes. He'll swing away, and he rolls a 46 for a 13. That's a strikeout, two away. And up comes Jim Delahanty. Delahanty rolls a 35 for a 9, and uh, that's going to be a fly ball over to left field. Stahl has that one for the out. We go to the top of the fifth. It's Wid Conroy up there. Wid rolls an 11 for a 0, and his next roll is going to be a 12 for an 11. That's a single off of Hughes, and then Conroy able to uh, steal a base afterwards. Brings up Jad che Jack uh, Chesbro, who will bunt, and he rolls a 65 for a 35. We do have a little E roll to worry about, and this time it's a 22 within the range. Changes to an 11, or to, I'm sorry, an 18. Now that ends up uh, being a, uh, an error on the catcher, interestingly enough. So that's uh, a ca an error on uh, Warner, the catcher. See, normally it would have been a 21, then it changes here to an 18 because of the internal randomizer. And that sends Conroy over to third base. Chesbro now the uh, runner on at first, the uh, pitcher. And uh, runners on at uh, first and third. We're not going to do any hit and run here. Infield will come in for Charlie Hempel, who's swinging away, though he's only hitting 228. Hempel rolls a 65 for a 35. There's a foul ball um, behind uh, second base, and uh, or behind uh, first base, rather. Delahanty, the second baseman, runs over and grabs that one for the first out, one away. We Willie Keeler up there now, and he rolls a 31 for a 9, and that's a single that will score one, ties the ball game, sends uh, Jack Chesbro up to second. So it's a 2-2 ball game here for Jake Stahl. Stahl rolls a 46 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field, and uh, Clymer has that for the out. Two away, and uh, this will bring, bring up uh, Neil Ball. Ball rolls a uh, 66 for a zero, and uh, his next roll is a 52 for an 11. So that's a single that will score one, send Keeler to third, and then Ball, of course, able to steal second with Harry Niles up there. Three to two now the score. New York has come back. And uh, let's see what Niles can do. 
He rolls a 22 for an 8. So that's going to be a fly ball over to center field. Milan has that one for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and it'll be Otis Clymer up there. Otis rolls a 26 for a 27. It's a ground ball over to third base, and uh, Conroy's going to grab that throw to first for the out. One away, and it's uh, Bill Shipka now. He rolls a 15 for an 11. So that'll be a single followed by a stolen base, and that brings up uh, Clyde Milan with a runner on at second. I've always got to ask myself, why is Milan hitting uh, fourth? We're going to change these lineups around as soon as we get to Sunday in 1908. We're a little ways away. Milan will bunt, rolls a 55 for an 8, and uh, that ends up being a bunt back to Chesbro, who handles another bunt, throws over this time to Niles, covering at the bag, two away. And here is Jerry Freeman, not hitting much better, and he rolls a 56 for a 30. That's a fly ball to left field. Stahl has that for the out, and we go to the top of the six. It's Hal Chase up there. Chase rolls a 52 for a 27. It's a ground ball over to the third baseman, uh, Shipka, who makes the play and throws the first for the out, one away. And it's Red Klein now. He rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a ground ball over to the second baseman, Delahanty, who makes the play and throws the first for the out, two away. Wood Conroy now rolls a 16 for a 26, and it's the same thing, a ground ball to Delahanty, who makes the play and throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the six, and it's George McBride up there for the Senators, and this is a close one. McBride rolls a 44 for an eight and gets the single. The little C gets him, though, and he attempts to steal with Gainley on uh, up to bat, and he's thrown out. Bob Gainley up there now rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. Keeler has that for the out, two away, and John Warner now rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. We go to the top of the seventh. Jack Chesbro now up there, the pitcher for the Highlanders. 3-2 to two New York with the lead, and uh, Chesbro rolls a 63 for a 29. That's a comebacker to Hughes. He makes the play and throws the first for the out. One away, Charlie Hemphill now. He rolls a 46 for a 29. That's another comebacker to Hughes. who makes the play and throws the first. Two away, Wee Willie Keeler is up there, and he rolls a uh, 21 for a 30. It's a fly ball over to left field. Left fielder uh, Gainley is there for the out, and uh, we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Long Tom Hughes up there now. The pitcher for uh, the Senators rolls a 12 for a 24. There is a little E roll. This rolls a 41. It's out of the uh, range. That's a ground ball over to Ball. Neil Ball has it. Throws to first for the out. For the first out, one away. Jim Delahanty up there now. He rolls a 66 for a zero, and that's going to make this one interesting. Next rolls a 13 for a six. He does have a chance to maybe get a home run, but his rolls a 25 out of that range. It's a double for Delahanty, and... Uh, See, this is weird. Every time I want to do the, uh, you just saw that there, right? Every time I want to do a, a screenshot, then the uh, selection thing there uh, by the lineup on the side ends up getting stuck. So I don't understand what's going on. I don't know. Maybe I'm just turning it to an old guy. But uh, my uh, my theory is that this has something to do with a game that is not that well programmed. Uh, and so uh, there's a, a double there for uh, Delahanty. And uh, now we go to Otis Clymer here in the bottom of the uh, seventh inning. Runner on his second base, and uh, Clymer is going to swing away, hitting 327, 413 on base percentage, and he rolls a 44 for an A. That's going to be a single, and that will score the uh, runner, and uh, Clymer then hits second base. And this is an interesting thing to note. I'm sorry, he does not score the runner as uh, Delahanty's thrown out because he's slow. Um, Clymer, uh, for his troubles, will not be caught stealing, even though there's a little C, and that's because he's already at second base. Um, and uh, so Clymer gets the base hit, but it's poor base running by Delahanty that prevents him from scoring. They're two away now, and uh, Bill Shipka is up there, and uh, Shipka rolls a 45 for a 14 and will walk. And uh, so the uh, this will uh, cause just a little bit more tension um, as uh, Shipka is on at first base, um, uh, and Milan is up there now, bottom of the seventh. And uh, let's see what uh, Clyde Milan can do. So Clyde Milan, the uh, cleanup hitter with runners on a first and second and uh, two outs here, bottom of the seventh inning. He rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a little fly ball over to center field, and Hemphill has it for the out. We go to the top of the eighth inning. And it's Jake Stahl up there now against Long Tom Hughes. Stahl rolls a 35 for a 42. He's hit by the pitch and takes his base. Here comes Neil Ball, nobody out, top of the uh, eighth with one on, and Ball rolls a 51 for a nine. That's a uh, ground ball to third base. Shipke has him, throws to first for the out. Stahl moves up to second. One away now, and it's Harry Niles. Niles rolls a 15 for an 11. That'll be a base hit, and uh, unfortunately for Ball, he's thrown out at home, and uh, Niles is then able to uh, steal second um, as the uh, uh, next man is up. So we've had a couple of guys thrown out here at the plate in this game, keeping this one close. And uh, now with uh, Niles on at second base, two out here is Hal Chase. Chase is 0 for 3 today. 
And he got on on the air, which is counting as an at-bat against him. So anyway, we'll talk about that some other time. Chase now rolls a 15, 4, and 11. And this time the runner does score, and Chase is uh, perched on second base with the double. Here is Red Clay now. And Red rolls a 51 for a 36. That's going to be a wild pitch. Chase goes to third. Still two outs, top of the eighth. And the next roll is a 65 for a 35. That's a pop-up over to the shortstop. McBride has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning, and it's 4-2 uh, to two now, Highlanders. The Senators have uh, lost their lead. Freeman, though, rolls a 15 for an eight. That's a single off of Jack Chesbo over left center field, and that'll bring up George McBride. McBride rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to the third baseman, Conroy. Throws over to Niles for the force out. One away, and uh, here is Bob Gainley. Bob rolls a 54 for a 45. It's a fly ball over to Keeler and right. Two away, and it's uh, John Warner now. Rolls a 36 for a 33. It's a pop-up over behind third base, and Conroy has that for the out. We go to the top of the ninth inning. It's Wood Conroy, and I'm telling you, Wood Conroy would be a great guy to write about here. A very interesting player. He uh, rolls a 65 for a 35 foul out over to the third baseman. Shipka one away. Uh, Jack Chesbro up there. Now, Conroy was uh, one of those players who went from the American to the National League, kind of a rarity in the old days. Chesbro rolls a 41 for a 27. It's a ground ball over to Shipkid. Throws the first for the out, two away. I'm talking like 1902, and, uh, you know, there was rumors that Wood Conroy was actually an American League spy when he played for the Pirates. Charlie Hemphill now rolls a 53 for a 17, and that's a fly ball over the right fielder, um, and it's uh, Clymer who has that one for the out. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and Long Tom Hughes is the uh, first hitter, and he's going to, of course, come out here. Let's see who we've got coming on. Not much. Uh, probably be uh, Pickering. Ollie Pickering is going to be the uh, pinch hitter. He rolls a 56 for a 34. Little E roll now is a 12, so that's going to be changed to 21. That is an error on the uh, first baseman, Hal Chase, of course. Third error in the game for uh, New York, and that brings up Jim Delahanty. Delahanty rolls a 43 for a 29. There is a uh, ground ball back to Chesbro, throws to first for the out. Pickering moves up to second. One away, of course, his run doesn't matter. Up next is Clymer, rolls a 56 for a 34. It's a pop up over to the second baseman, Niles, for it, and uh, the Senators have one out to go. It's Shipke, who rolls a 64 for a 13. He strikes out. That's the end of your ball game. So the Highlanders win this one 4 to 2. They will go to 8 and 8. Senators go to 6 and 10. And there's your ballgame. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.